In this video, we are going to learn how you can add an additional button on your home page. Navigation. Your template comes with four buttons by default, syllabus, academic resources, university resources, and office hours, as well as your additional module buttons. Let's head over to modules. Your template comes with an instructor module. One of them has a page on how to enhance your template graphics. When we open that page, we scroll down to the bottom of it and you're going to find a table that includes the buttons as well as a link that will take you to the regional file source so you can edit the button. You have this additional button called extra help. However, you might want to customize it to say something different. So we're going to click on it and it opens in another browser tab and it's going to ask you to make a copy. Once the file opens, you will be able to replace the text to reflect whichever name you want to assign it. In my case, I'm just going to call it frequently asked questions. As you notice, I am not changing the font or the size. You can replace the icon if you desire. If not, you can leave the same icon. Now let's make sure that I give this button a name that will make sense. So let's call it the same thing, frequently asked questions. Press enter, the name gets saved. Now I click on file, download, JPEG image. It gets downloaded locally to my downloads folder. Now my first browser tab is Canvas. So I'm going to click on it and go back. I am back into that page. I want to go over my home page in my course. I click on edit. I'm going to resize these areas so I have a better view. I'm going to place my mouse pointer in the place where I would like this new image to be in. Click on the images icon from your rich content editor. Upload image. Click on the rocket ship to locate that new button. Here it is. Frequently asked questions button. Click open. Click submit. And this button has been added to my course. Now you can see it. Now you may notice that this button is a bit smaller compared to the other buttons. So we're going to fix that. I'm going to go back into edit view and I have this icon that will allow me to switch to the HTML editor. Let's click on it. And I know that these buttons are under student resources, which is right there. And I know that these buttons are images. So if you keep scrolling down a bit, here is my first image tag. So now I can see that the width and the height of these buttons is set to 25% and height of 281 pixels. So let's double check each one. Here is the second one. It's set to the same 25% by 281 pixels. This is the next button set to the same specifications. This next one, 25 by 281 pixels. I'm going to highlight that because I noticed that this is the button that I added, but it doesn't have any of those measurements. I'm going to highlight and copy. You can use your keyboard shortcuts or right click and copy these measurements. Now I'm going to click after these alt tag on the new button that I added. Give it one space and then use your keyboard shortcuts or right click to paste. And now it matches the width and the height. We can switch from this same icon to the rich content editor. And there it is. Now my frequently asked questions but matches the sizes of the other buttons. Now I can save and my additional button has been saved.